there was a little bit of part of me that I wish I was more confident to be like, hi, I'd like to be in a movie someday. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel or welcome to it if this is the first time you're seeing my face. My name is JC and I appreciate you clicking on this video. I like to do story times, chit chats, rants on this channel and this is just going to be a good old classic story time snippets video where it's basically a compilation of mini story times all within the same theme compiled into one video. Today's theme is going to be about some of the celebrity sightings that I have had while being in LA. I have lived in LA for about a year and a half now, and it's still like COVID time, so I'm not going to any kind of crazy events, but these are the organic ways I have spotted, if I'm being honest, like D-list celebrities. You know, it's not like I'm seeing like Emma Stone walking around the mall or like Ryan Gosling or anything cool like that. It's, it's really like D-list celebrities and influencers, but you guys might know a couple, but I thought it would be fun to create this video to kind of give you a true glimpse into some of the sightings you might have if you live in LA. So if you like videos like this, story times, or just hanging out with me, make sure to like this video, it really helps me out, and consider subscribing if you wanna join for any kind of future fun videos. But let's get started into some of the celebrity sightings I've had while living in Los Angeles. So I do have my fake jewelry in today, so if my ears are super red and irritated, mind your business. But before I get into some of the snippets, I did want to do a little disclaimer that I don't have any photos with or of the following celebrities. One of the reasons for that will be based on the first story that I have, but I just have found that it's odd to like interrupt people just living their day-to-day -day lives to get a photo, you know? Like I would never want to interrupt somebody like mid spoonful of soup and be like, can I grab a photo to share on social media while they're just eating soup and living their best lives. So I find it odd to take photos with or of celebrities unless you already have a genuine interaction with them. So you guys are just gonna have to trust me that I actually did see all of these people. But in my defense, they're all so random and like D-list celebrities that there's no way I made this up. So I hope that you guys trust me on that. I do have another video on my channel. I'll link it in the eye and down below where I did have some more genuine interactions with celebrities and kind of celebrity sightings where I did grab some photos with them or of them. So check out that video if you wanna know some of my more like actual bumping into celebrities and kind of talking to them. This is more of just the celebrities that I've seen out and about in LA while I'm genuinely living my life and so are they. But one of the other reasons that I don't like to take photos with or of celebrities is based on the first interaction I ever had in Los Angeles. It was about a year ago and I had some friends coming in to visit me. And so I love taking people up to the Hollywood sign. It's just such a such an easy, free touristy thing to do. So we finish our hike and then we drive down to the Melrose area to grab some lunch. So the Melrose area is popping. There's lots of cute shops, lots of restaurants. So we put our name in for a restaurant and then we kind of are walking around a little bit and I spot Laura DIY. And immediately, like not even, I don't even talk to my friends. I'm not like, oh my God, you guys, I know her. Like, let me go talk to her. It was just my body went into like cold mode and I was like, excuse me, are you Laura? Can I grab a photo? And she was like, yeah, sure, totally. And so I hand my friend my phone and not having explained what I'm doing or what's going on, she's kind of confused. She's like, oh yeah, okay, sure. So in the middle of like all of that, there was just this weird lull where I'm standing there sweaty from my hike, like looking gross and like posing next to Laura, like, and I'm not even like talking to her or interacting with her. I don't know if I got starstruck or if I was just like, oh my God, I gotta get a photo to prove this. And then maybe I'd talk to her afterwards. I don't really know. She was so sweet. Here's the photo. So I posed for the photo with her and then I'm like, okay, thanks, bye. And then I kind of just walk away. And as I'm walking away, I was like, that was, that was the weirdest thing I could have ever done. I didn't talk to her. I didn't tell her that I like her content or that I enjoy a lot of her YouTube videos. I was just like, can I get a photo? Cool, thanks, bye. That's weird. So because of that experience and just how like oddly guilty I felt interrupting her shopping day, you know, she was like carrying like coffee and shopping bags. She had friends with her and I made her stop everything she was doing for a photo that I didn't even share on social media. I don't know, kind of odd. So I wanted to start off with that one to just kind of explain again why I don't really have any photos. 
The next weird and random organic celebrity sightings I have was I had two in one night in the same spot. So oftentimes I will get all guzzied up for these videos and I film on the weekends, like Saturday or Sunday mornings. And it's kind of the only time of the week that I do my makeup. So I always feel inclined to do something afterwards of doing my makeup. Like I tweeted out recently that like, okay, I did my hair and makeup. So legally I have to go walk around to Target so people can see me. And that's how I feel a lot of the times. So about a year ago, again, I'd gotten all guzzied up and I was like, well, I want people to see me. So let's go walk around the Grove Mall. So the Grove is basically just like a shopping mall with like a little bit higher end of of stores rather than just like a regular strip mall sort of thing. And I go there quite often just to walk around. I have to pay for parking, which is super annoying, but I literally walk around. I don't have any shopping to do. A lot of the stores are like not of my interest, but I was walking around the Grove Theater one night and there was an outdoor dining patio where I saw this girl with bright purple hair. And right away I was like, hey, that's Kelly Osborne. So I saw Kelly Osborne eating dinner out on this outdoor dining patio and she was super noticeable because she did have this bright purple hair. And so I was like, oh, that's cool. Anyway, I keep on walking around and there's another outdoor dining restaurant because again, COVID time, so a lot of people weren't dining in. And for some reason, like good thing I had my contacts in because I could see, but it was as if like, I don't know if I have like, you know, people have like a a radar for certain things. I think I have a celebrity radar because I was like, there's somebody in this general vicinity that's somewhat famous. And I zero in on this man and I was like, hey, I know that guy. But I don't know from where. So I called my mom and I was like, mom, <laughs> this is so silly. I was like, mom, what's that guy's name from Flubber? And she's like, <laughs> This is so stupid. She's like, what are you talking about? I was like, from Flubber, I just saw that the guy, like the doctor or something. She's like, I don't know what, what you're talking about. You're talking about Robin Williams. I was like, no, mom, mom, Robin Williams is not a lie. The bad guy from Flubber. So I look him up <laughs> and it's, it's Chris McDonald is who I saw, better known for his role in Happy Gilmore. I don't know why I know him from Flubber, but he was also just sitting outside, dining at a restaurant, living his best life. And I was just kind of like, hey, that guy's, somewhat famous and that's funny. Another spot that I go to see D-list celebs, I don't go to see them, that's a bad way of putting it, but I live in the general vicinity of Larchmont Village and so every now and then I like to just go walk around there and see what's going on. Again, I like to show people my basic ass outfit so I'll go walk around. One night I was walking around and just kind of passing by me was this family with ice cream, my celeb radar went off and I kind of started looking at their faces like, wait a second, something's going on here. I look and one of the people that I see is, oh shoot, I forgot her name. O'Connor, O'Connor, no, Chew. Ugh. See, this is how D-list celebs of these people are. I gotta like remind myself what their names even are. Sarah Gilbert from Meet the Connors. So this one was kind of weird because my mom at the time was watching Meet the Connors, which is a reboot of The Roseanne Show. Oh my gosh, hang on. <laughs> yeah, she was from Roseanne and then this is a reboot of Roseanne. And I know my mom had just caught like the first few episodes of that show. So I was a little bit more aware of her at the time, but I just saw her walking around another super random person. But even more random was I was walking around Larchmont Village one day and I like to play this game where I try to guess who's on a date um, because that's a really good area to take people on a first date because there's lots of cute little eateries but also little snacks where you're not sitting down dining with people for two hours getting to know them. So I see this couple sitting down again outside. I feel like COVID has really changed celebrity sightings because everyone has to eat outside. So I'm walking around outside and I see this couple and I see this bald man who I was like, oh, they're on a date wait, I recognize that bald man. And I look and I was like, oh, it's the Dean from Community. And I guess his real name is Jim Rash, I should say. And I didn't recognize him at first because he still had his bald hair, but he also had facial hair and like not his signature glasses. So it was almost like he was wearing a disguise, but more so being himself. And so I was walking around Larchmont Village. I ended up grabbing like food somewhere. So I was like there for about a half hour. And then afterwards I saw him again, walking with this guy, walking around Larchmont Village. So we passed by each other like face to face. And I was like, yep, 
that was Jim Rash from Community. So that one was a cool one for me because I really enjoy that show. I finished probably like two seasons of it and then give up like I normally do for TV shows. But that one was one that I was actually excited about where I was like, oh my gosh, I saw him. I know him. So I hope that date went well. I don't know if it was a date. That's not, I'm not trying to dox him or anything, but I was playing that game and that's what caught my attention were these couples. So that's all. Another random influencer slash internet personality that I saw was I saw Brittany Broski on a hike to the Hollywood sign. Again, I do that hike all the time. And that one, I did talk to her. I did say, hey, Brittany, you got this. And she kind of laughed, not like a conversation by any means, but just more acknowledging that like, I see you. And again, that's probably weird. Like if I was on a hike and somebody was like, you got this JC, I'd be like, oh my God, they're gonna kidnap me on this mountain. So probably shouldn't have done that, but that's another random person. Another <laughs> random pairing that I saw, I actually talked about this in my Best of LA video, so check that out if you want. But I went to this one themed restaurant called The Breakfast Club, and it's basically breakfast food for dinner. Super cute in there, super themed, very colorful. And I look across the restaurant and I'm like, oh, there's two kids over there and they're like TikTok kids. Like I recognize those kids, they're famous children on the internet. <sighs> And why I know famous children on the internet, I'm, I don't know the answer to that. I'm sorry, it's the content that comes to me. I'm not seeking out this content, I promise you guys. But the longer that I'm eating my eggs benedict for dinner, the more I'm realizing, wait, those aren't just TikTok kids. That's Luna and Miles Legend, AKA John Legend and Chrissy Teigen's kids. And they were clearly with some type of personal assistant or some babysitter or nanny, I don't know, because it was not John Legend or Chrissy with them, otherwise I, hopefully would have recognized them. But that was just another random one where I was like, wow, now I'm out here seeing celebrity children and I recognize them. I'm embarrassed for myself, you guys, I'm embarrassed. <laughs> That's another one where I'm not about to take photos of children to post online. So you guys just gotta believe me that I saw, I saw two of the most famous kids in the world, you know? If I had seen any Kardashian kids, that's weird though, I don't think I would recognize any Kardashian kids besides the firstborns, you know? After all the firstborns, I have no idea what their names even are. That's so sad, because I'm a middle child. Is that how people feel about me? I'm getting off topic, let's move on. <laughs> A quick interlude in between telling my stories is I wanted to share a couple of the celebrity sightings my brother has had. So my brother moved to LA pretty much the same time I did, and he kind of runs in different scenes with his girlfriend. They're very much more foodie and arts district type people where I love super touristy things and Hollywood kind of thing. So they see different celebrities than I do. So I wanted to share a couple of quick ones from them. The first and funniest one was about like, maybe like six months ago, Jenny texts me and she was like, Oh my gosh, JC, you will never guess who is sitting at the table next to us at Castaway. Castaway is a very nice restaurant out here in Los Angeles. So because they're foodies, they're probably more likely to see celebrities out having nice dinners. But so I was like, I don't know who. And she was like, here's a hint, like you hate him. I forget what the exact conversation was. And I was like, I don't know who. She goes, it's Matthew Morrison and he's wearing the world's dumbest hat. <laughs> And I just think that's so funny and so on brand for him. So Matthew Morrison is from Glee and he played the creepy teacher who probably should have gotten fired for sexual harassment like the first season in, <laughs> but that's this, besides the point. I'm not a fan of Matthew Morrison. I find him overtly cringy in everything that he does. And the fact that she validated that by saying he was wearing a fedora indoors at dinner and bringing attention to himself says everything I need to know about the man. So I thought that one was super funny. The next random person that they saw was, they again like to hang out in the arts district. It's very artsy, as you can tell. And my brother said that, he wanted me to specify this, in the first street tunnel, they were walking to somewhere and they were about to go into a tunnel. And this is important because this man comes up to them, just a singular man, and he goes, hi and runs the other way. And my brother's like, what the heck? Because it was Andy Dick. And at first I didn't believe him, but then I was like, actually, that's the most Andy Dick thing I could think of. And so my brother explained that he was in the tunnel filming something, whether it was for a vlog or he was live streaming something, but he was filming himself. 
but he somehow lost service or it got too dark. And so he took off running to get out of the tunnel and get back service. And so that's where he kind of crossed paths with my brother and Jenny and was just like, hi, yeah, it's me, gotta go. But it was, they were just like, <sighs> Okay, so super random. So I don't know, maybe you'll be out and about and spot Andy Dick and it's kind of just like the most on brand thing for him. Similarly, somebody who was out and about filming themselves, either vlogging or live streaming and bringing attention to themselves was Andy Milanakis. I don't know if you guys remember Andy Milanakis. I sure do. I got peas on my head. Don't call me a pea head. I got Bruce Lee on my head. Don't call me a Lee head. Schmandy Schmillish Makis. No, nothing. Andy Milanakis is a guy who had a weird TV show back in the day that for some reason I used to watch. And now he's just, I think he's like more of a Twitch streamer. Maybe he does some type of YouTube videos, but he's one of those people where he has one of those um, conditions where he kind of looks the same. Like he looks young, even though he's older. I don't know the actual term for it. So my brother said he immediately recognized him because he looks exactly the same, but also because he was over in little Tokyo with kind of a little entourage filming himself. Again, not sure if it was for a YouTube video or a vlog, but he was clearly drawing attention to himself, being like, hey guys, we're out here in Lil Tokyo. What's up guys? That it was like, who is that? Oh, it's Andy Milanakis. Cool. <laughs> so some more random celebrity sightings there, but I wanted to share theirs because it kind of shows the scope of people you might see out and about just randomly. But the last two people I wanted to save for last, because I guess they're the most mainstream celebrities that I've seen. And even so, they're not even that mainstream. I was on a walk recently. I love to take walks just around the neighborhood, clear my head. And I see this woman coming towards me in just a blue velour tracksuit. It was just an all blue ensemble. And I wasn't wearing my contacts, so I wasn't like noticing her face, but I was like, dang, that's an outfit. Where can I get me one of those cool velour tracksuits? She looks like a, like a yoga mom who just dropped off her kids for school or something, you know, just somebody really cool. But as she gets closer and starts passing by me, <laughs> I probably made this face. I think I was wearing a mask, so it probably looked like this. But it was Molly Shannon. And I was like, holy crap, Molly Shannon. Superstar. I have the weirdest references of how I know some of these celebrities. I guess SNL would have been a way better, <laughs> a way better reference for Molly Shannon. But that was a cool one. She was just out and about living her best life, out on a walk like I was. And so again, not some place where she's in her safe space, she's just kind of in her own head that I'd want to interrupt and ask for a photo. But I was like, oh cool, that was Molly Shannon. That was kind of cool. The last celebrity encounter, which is also the main inspiration for this video, because it happened two days ago, was again, I'm so boring. I was on my Hollywood sign hike. I go on my hike, I come back down, and I was I needed to like stretch. I was cramping up a little bit. And so I was like, I'm not ready to drive home yet. And I hear this weird chanting coming from the park. So there's like a little tiny park, and I thought it was a dog park, but I guess not. But I was like, what's that chanting? Is there a seance going on? Let's go check it out and stretch my quads. So I go down into this park and they're singing happy birthday to a kid. And so I'm like, oh, that's not as fun. Very important part of this story is that I did not have my glasses on. I did not have my contacts on. I am basically seeing in 1K. If, if that means it's really bad. I'd imagine 1K is really bad. I just see shapes and lights basically. So I walk past this group and the first thing that I notice is after they sing happy birthday, there's a figure who goes to the adults and they're like, hey, cupcake, cupcake, cupcake. I notice all of the adults are in like blazers or kind of like nice outfits. Mind you, they're at a park, like having a barbecue. Why are you guys in blazers? And every single adult goes, oh no, thanks. No, I can't. No, sorry, I have a role. And that, that piqued my interest. Like, why are all these adults turning down cupcakes wearing blazers talking about roles? Are these movie stars? Again, because I can't see. <laughs> so again, as I'm walking, I see this figure, this tall figure, and my brain, my incredible edible radar goes off because I'm like, that's Joel McHale. I can't see his face. I can't hear his voice. My soul knows that that figure right there is Joel McHale. I've loved him my whole life. I, I watch talk soup every single day. I know that's Joel McHale. So I go to this picnic table and I sit down and I kind of start stretching. And it was really fascinating because there was like a dad and his son playing catch. And so then one of the other party goers comes and talks to this dad and they start talking about like movie stuff. Like they were like, oh yeah, did you hear I got this new role? It's about this, 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 and rah, rah, rah. movie talk, movie talk, Hollywood, baby, let's go industry. You know, 
stuff like that. I don't know if they were talking about like TV, movies, or theater, but I was eavesdropping. I don't know, you can't just go to a public park and not expect people to hear you. That's not my fault that they came over to my table and started talking. Lucky for them, I won't be revealing their big secrets, but I was just kind of listening to them and I'll be like, okay, yeah, these are people like in Hollywood. This is really interesting. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna stretch for a little bit longer. But I was really waiting because I couldn't see anything, you guys. I am blind as a bat. It was getting dark. But just as I was like right about ready to leave, I hear this kid who kind of goes running back to the adults and he goes, Joel, 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 Mikhail, Mikhail. And then you hear yourself, what? <laughs> and I was like, okay, that's Joel McHale. That's kind of all the validation that I needed. And so then I stood up and I left and I drove away. There was a little bit of part of me that I wish I was more confident to be like, hi, I'd like to be in a movie someday. <laughs> I don't know how you approach that situation, but that felt like one of those things of like, was that a sign from the universe that I was supposed to be there and I blew it by walking away? But no, instead I took it as my sign of, yep, that was Joel McHale. That was a cool celebrity sighting for me personally because I love him. Um, I always have. So that was like a nice little personal validation. So that one was probably one of the longer ones of the story time snippets, but I needed to tell it in dramatic fashion because you guys have no idea how blind I am at night and how I recognized a figure and knew who it was. That is some stalker shit. <laughs> but that's gonna be it of the random, organic, C to D list celebrities and influencers that I have genuinely spotted in LA, just kind of out and about living my life. I definitely don't seek celebrities when I go places. I don't go to restaurants or bars knowing that it's kind of a celebrity hotspot and I might see somebody. Um, because that just means that place is probably too expensive for me to be paying. <laughs> but it is kind of fun just like going out and doing events or doing free things like hiking or going for walks and still spotting these very influential people. So it's kind of cool. It's one of the things that I like to tell people, like, why do you like living in LA? And I'm like, there's something about the energy of being in LA when it's the industry you're trying to get into. So it's very much energizing for me to see people filming TikToks, to see people having full on photo shoots on the side of the road, or to go to the mall and see celebrities living their life. Cause it's like, whoa, like I am in this universe. I'm trying to be a part of it. And I don't know, it's kind of inspiring and cool. So, so sorry if you guys didn't actually know any of these people. Let me know in the comments if you would be excited seeing any of these people, or if you have no idea who any of these people that I'm talking about are because they are pretty random. Also, let me know some of the celebrities you have spotted because I love hearing those stories and just, again, how organically you meet these mega superstars and how they're just normal people, man. What a concept. But that's gonna be it for this video. Just a reminder to follow me on social media if you wanna see what I'm up to in my day-to-day -day life. If you wanna see me post the Hollywood sign every week, if you wanna see me take my masked walks, then you know, check out my Instagram or my TikTok or my Twitter. It'd be kind of nice. But I thank you guys so, so, so very much for watching this video. And I'll see you in the next one. Toodles! I am hyper aware that the least aesthetically pleasing things about my video is this stupid microphone. It's because my other mic is a shotgun mic and it's the crappiest quality. So it's either crappy quality or just looking like I have a big bug on my neck all the time. But just paciencia. I'll get a, I'll get a new mic eventually. Thank you.